Hey guys, this is going to be a good one. I was thinking about how I would promote a guide company, like a mountaineering guide company. Um, because ever since I've uh, lived in Portland, I've been sort of getting into this a little bit. And, uh, and, and I was thinking about it today. You know, a lot of these guide companies promote themselves. You know, their names are like Alpine Glow Expeditions and Alpine Ascents International and uh, um, uh, RMI Expeditions. They, they, they describe like the thing they do you know, it's the focus is on like climbing, on climbing mountains, on the expedition, on that kind of thing. But the thing I've come to realize about mountaineering in general is it's not about that at all. It's about pushing past your limits. Uh, if any of you have seen that movie Meru uh, with, with Jimmy Chin, Conrad Anchor, and um, uh, I forget the other guy's name. Uh, oh shit, what is it? I follow the guy on Instagram, I can't remember his name. Rena, Renan Ozturk, I believe. I'm probably totally butchering that, but um, he, uh, 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 these, so these three guys climb Meru. If you haven't seen it, there's this scene in Meru where they're like, I think they're like four days from the summit, I wanna say, and they're like pinned down in their uh, porta ledge in a storm. And they, because they're pinned down for like four days, or they might be, I don't know how, how they're several days from the summit and they're pinned in their portal ledge for like four days. So they go through almost all their food. And then Conrad Anchor, basically there's this scene where Renan is like really nervous and he, you know, they're, they're gearing up to go. And Renan's like, you know, I thought we were gearing up to, uh, to go back down. And, and then, you know, then these guys are like, all right, let's head up. And he's like, what? And, uh, because they were like out of food and he thought they'd turn around and, and then, you know, they cut to Conrad Anchor and Conrad's like, this is why you need a mentor in the mountains because the mentor can show you like what's okay. Like, yeah, it's okay to go with limited food for several days um, on a mountain, but like maybe one more day would not be cool, you know? So like Conrad was saying like, you know, that's why you need a mentor. So anyway, like they're, they're think about that for a second. They are climbing this mountain on a dangerous, sketchy face that's never been climbed before. And they're several days from the summit and they've basically run out of food. There's a scene where they're like cooking little, little cubes of cheese over the flame to, to eat and keep themselves fed. And, and that's, that is what mountaineering is about. It's about suffering. It's about pushing past your limits of fear and pain. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's literally what it is. Uh, as I get more into it, that's that's what I realize. And so if I was going to promote a guide company, I would maybe focus on that because that is what the people are really there for. They're not there to climb a mountain. I mean, it, yeah, they are. The mountain's cool. It's beautiful. It, it but but it's second. It's secondary. The, the primary thing they're doing is they're climbing the mountain uh, to overcome uh, their own limits, to push past their own limits. And so I'd, I'd name the guide company something like Limitless or, you know, something similar to that that really focuses not on the mountain or on the expedition, but focuses on the thing, the person, the person and what they're doing in that process. And call it, you know, something like Limitless, right? Limitless Expeditions or something, something similar to that. Push past your, like whatever it is. And, and then all my marketing would be about like, the pain and the suffering. Like I would be talking about, I would be talking about stories of people pushing past it. I'd, I'd show, you know, this guy once told me about this story, like his greatest trip ever. It was like this old guy who, um, had never climbed a mountain and he like just got diagnosed with like cancer or something that was like terminal and he had always wanted to do it. And so he came to, uh, to Mount Rainier and this guy took him up and he, he was literally crawling at the top of the mountain to the, ver to the, to the summit and like, he was crying and like, it was this emotional moment and the guide's talking about it. And I'm like, that is what mountaineering is about. And so I would focus all my energy on that. Now you may, you may turn off the people who don't think, who don't know that that's what it's about, right? I think there's a good number of people who go like, try to climb, you know, Mount Hood or Mount, um, uh, you know, some of the smaller mountains and they're just getting into it. And it's before they've realized that that's really what it's about. And so you'd probably lose that sect of the business, that set, that, that, that cohort of, of, of potential customers. You'd probably lose them. You'd probably turn them off, but potentially that would be a good thing because honestly, those are probably the customers that a guide company doesn't want. Those are probably the clients they don't want, right? Those are the clients that are gonna, um, gonna get injured that easier, that are gonna, um, you know, because they're not gonna be prepared. Those are the clients that are gonna not be able to push through because they don't, you know, they're not into that sort of thing. 
Um, and they're going to have to go down and a guide's going to have to walk down with them. And the other guy's going to have to stay with the other group and it's going to slow everybody down and it's going to piss everybody else off. So like, those are probably the clients you don't necessarily want. So it would actually be a good thing to eliminate them, but that all kind of hinges on, uh, the idea that there's enough people who are there to push past pain that that would that would elimit like that wouldn't matter right you put you, you you eliminate all those people that that are really just there to kind of like for whatever reason they don't realize what it's what it's about um you know they're just te- kind of putting testing the waters a little bit and you eliminate all them and then all you have left are the 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 kick ass clients who are really there to do what it's about and you're also speaking their language you're speaking to them and no other guide company is doing that as far as i can tell it's all about like yeah, they show people on the summit and they talk about it, but, and they show the beautiful pictures and stuff like that, but they don't really focus on the suffering. I would tell stories about that. I would tell like that, that, that patient that, or that, that old guy who was a, you know, terminally ill, I would video, I would do like a video testimonial with that guy at the summit or at the bottom of the mountain. When you came back down with him, like sharing what it was, like what, what he pushed through and what it meant to him and all that kind of stuff that would would really, really connect with the type of people who are into this. So yeah, that's what I would do if I was starting a mountain guide company. 